Uh, okay, so uh, hello everyone. This is the second or the second part of um, uh, basically the tutorials to help you uh, like give some insights or like some guidance to choosing your track. Um, we had one yesterday about what was focused on GNAI. Uh, today we're going to talk about machine learning engineering and data engineering. So, um, okay, so just, um, you already have this um, document that uh, like, uh, like this, this doc uh, that uh, help you basically choose uh, um, or like help you to think through choosing your track, but um, so this session is more or less about like uh, just discussion or if you have questions in particular. So um, when choosing, so you have, again, this is just a recap. Uh, you have uh, three tracks you can choose from, it's machine learning, engineering, generative AI engineering, and data engineering. And so, and you know that basically we, we want you to choose so that you can focus um, on, on that track when you are applying for jobs also when you are preparing every like uh, all your um your material and also going forward what you are going to improve on uh, and try like the skills you need to improve on and the things that you need to like uh, work on going forward so like basically to um land the job so um so like this is going to overlap a lot with what you were discussed yesterday about generative AI. So because they share a lot. So actually these three tracks share, there are a lot of overlaps. That's why they are in the same training. Um, basically there is a base that you need to know in every and all, all the tracks, but there are more things that you need to focus on um, when you are like um, for each given track. So for uh, machine learning engineering, there are three things that we need to focus, like we need to really be proficient in. There is software engineering. So this uh, everything that um, uh, has to do with developing applications and deploying them and testing. So this like include um, the knowledge of um, uh, being proficient in Python, uh, JavaScript, like all the things about uh, DevOps and testing. Um, so these are all included in this. There is machine learning. So you have to uh, really, and this is something that you can work on, like if you don't have this already, you have experience, of course, in using like machine learning models, but uh, for more like understanding the concept and how um, really models prediction and optimization work. So this, uh, like you have to take into consideration like um, different kinds of models, machine learning models, um, like uh, deep learning, neural network, um, NLP, computer vision. This is something that we didn't work on, like in this, I think in the training, but this is something you can like um, um, try to um, like increase your familiarity with understanding the concept and also like having some hands-on experience with. Uh, so here it comes like the frameworks like uh, TensorFlow, PyTorch, Scikit-Learn. Um, so all of this like uh, comes into play in this, in this part. So, and there is this specific part about machine learning deployment. So, um, so this is just understanding how you can build uh, like um, a start to end, um, uh, like uh, a pipeline with models and deployment. So this will start like in, so knowledge. This is overlapping with uh, data learning, data engineering. So knowledge of uh, SQL, uh, scrapping, um, databases, and also on the other side when you are deploying to uh, or like uh, visualizations and uh, sorry like um, dashboards creating dashboards and um, so using streamlit and like um, or like building a front end 
all that. Uh, okay, so these are like the three, let's say three areas you have to like um, increase your proficiency in uh, for machine learning uh, track. When it comes to data engineering, so um, again, uh, and uh, so again, there are like overlap with machine learning, uh, machine learning engineering, the thing that we talked about before. But like the main thing, of course, that you need to main, uh, to know how to build uh, reliable, scalable data pipelines. And okay, there is a question. Um, I'm so sorry. Can I see my screen from the start? Uh, okay. Um, is let me try again. Um, also, it's a problem. I wonder, uh, it's your problem, it seems. Not everyone else seems to see that they can see my screen. So maybe there's a problem on your end. We can check. So, yeah. And uh, so this is about like everything to do with like uh, building databases and like uh, different, uh, so SQL, NoSQL. Uh, database is building a scalable, reliable data pipeline, how to maintain it, how to optimize it, uh, all that. So, and then um, uh, the other two, uh, the other three, the other two areas too, you have to um, know also are machine learning. So, sorry, I'm missing here. So, there are machine learning and um, um, machine learning and machine learning uh, deployment also because these, these are overlap. So the thing is that this is less focus here. So um, uh, it's, it's less focus on like knowing the concepts of my machine learning models and how to test them and evaluate them, all of that. But you need to have a working understanding because like, um, uh, and this, of course, differs from how, how like, uh, these positions are, like, from, um, I mean, depending on where you're working. So things are not really, um, how to say, not everything is, like, um, clearly defined or, like, really fixed. You might be doing more or less more um, in roles you take. You'll be doing different things so that you need or you can be working in a team where you have like you are a data engineer and then there's a team of data engineers and there are a team of machine learning engineers and they are working all together collaboratively. So you need to know to understand like what other the other parts are working, like other teams are working on. Um, so yeah, so the, just uh, the other things that you need more than than uh, machine learning you need is to focus on this, this is your main focus. But still, you need to have uh, a working and um, understanding and familiarity with machine learning concepts and frameworks. So, yeah. So, um, so this is more about like what are the tools and uh, like um, what you can, you are going to be doing. Uh, of course, this is something that you already know. Uh, that is, is the main role or the best thing you, 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 for that thing you need to do is building scalable, reliable data pipelines. And, um, uh, and uh, so there are again, so this is an overlap, but uh, this is like, a, again, this is something I already mentioned, but like mentioning tools or kind of uh, frameworks that you need to learn or to know about, or like as much as possible, have some um, experience with. Uh, so, and in, in every, of course, in every kind of, um, kind of task or kind of uh, um, uh, process or like everything that you will find, like multiple tools that can do the same thing, uh, so you need to, if you have to at least uh, have a great familiarity with at least one and have some knowledge with of the others that are available or are widely used. So this is like, um, 
more or less everything that is already there in the in the document that you'll find in the document you'll find more um uh, let's see if i have it here yes so this is the document you have to that was provided for you so you'll find in every in every section you'll find like uh, what are the uh, skills, tools, platform, framework that you need to know about. And um, basically, in every one, you need to, like, uh, at least have very good, um, um, like, uh, knowledge of at least one or, like, a, a good, solid experience with one and then have some knowledge about the others. I guess I'm, I'm here, I'm like highlighting TensorFlow and PyTorch because they, they do similar things. Um, so, but it, like at least you have to know what everything is this table is. Don't like, uh, um, but this is like a, going to be your plan for, for the next um, three months. Um, is working on improving your, your skills in, in, in these um, um in these areas or with these tools or with these platforms okay so um basically yes what what i want here is to hear from you so what are your questions what do you want to know about and um because like uh you like uh, there are a lot of things that are already in the document that you i, I i'm just going to uh, assume that you at least browse or like you went through Maybe you went through carefully, but at least you 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 looked at it and you have. So if you have any questions about this, let's hear it. Yes, Johannes. Is uh, machine learning require a strong backing the skills? Sorry? Machine learning, does machine learning require a strong backing the skills? Strong backing, uh, okay. Um, um, so, like, what do you mean in the backend? What is, like... Uh, because your backend, uh, depending on what you're building, of course, the backend could be that. Um, um, so, if you mean you mean like backend de development in general, I would say like uh, no, not exactly. So there are um, what you need to have a strong understanding with, like. Okay, so let me see if I, I can answer this. Um, if if what you mean is like to have a, like a an experience a working experience as like a backend developer or something like that, I would say it can help, but it's not uh, required. I think it helps in general to be like um, because some of this actually some of the machine learning engineering. Um, uh, Positions are listed as like software developer in general, and then you can see in the in the description that they what they want they want someone who will handle and build um uh any like they what what they want is a machine learning engineer basically so if they want or someone to work with machine learning models and and build um um basically like build models and uh like uh, like build a whole um like uh, models from the start to to the deployment of machine learning models basically so um so what you need is what you need or what you what is required uh would be different but from position to position but uh, in general, having uh, a good uh, back end, pro front end experience or or background is can be like is good in general. So, um, but it's not uh, 
it's not the main um, skills that like so the knowledge and working with machine learning models is the, what like the main thing but still like um, um, you need um, of course like I don't know if I'm, I'm answering your question actually like um, okay Johannes is saying thumbs up so yeah so yeah so in in general they would say like uh, having um, a solid background or like a solid understanding of experience in software development in general is helpful in information learning uh, positions, machine learning engineering positions. And then, as I said, uh, some of these positions are listed as software engineer or sorry, as like software developer. But like always look at the description when you are like uh, and see what are the tools, the frameworks or what they are saying the role is exactly so to understand like what we will be doing so if you are going to be building machine learning models training and like deploying them that's uh, what you need for like a machine learning uh, position for uh, data engineering you will be like building data pipelines and like handling all of these databases and and um uh yeah so okay other questions? So Abu Bakr is asking what is the first choice? Um, what first choice? I don't know. Like, uh, what do you mean? In, in the truck selection uh, yeah. document, it's asking for the force. Ah, the okay. first so okay. the document was saying it was having three of them. Yeah, so um okay, is it the document you have in the like the one I'm I'm I was showing this one? It's probably a typo. Uh like because some of this no the sorry. Where? Is the, it something the I form, showed? The individual form. Ah, okay. So I didn't I don't I didn't see that form. But um, yeah, so maybe it could be a typo. You have three choices, and it could be like uh, because some of this material was like before there was like um, maybe that there was some there was a plan to include work three, and then it was removed. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm I didn't see the form, but I I think it's probably a typo. Um, okay. Um, any more questions? So, do you have? Do you? Uh, let me just ask you. Like, have you all decided on your track? Like, do you have like a clear, clear idea now, or do you still like thinking? Are you still thinking about it? So I will, is that sums up are people who have decided already, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the other, uh, like, so I saw like two sums up. Uh, are the rest of you still thinking about, about your choice? Is that it? Okay. It seems like people are still thinking. All right, so do you like, uh, do you think uh, there is uh, something in particular that can help you with your choice? Like, or is it like just like you have to think with yourself, or do you need some kind of uh, information or some kind of a discussion, something we can provide? Yes, Hilary? Yeah, so we were told to. Use the evaluation, and mm -hmm. uh, it will help us to understand if you are if I, if I, let's say I'm stuck between two. I see the one that I'm good at, but let's say I'm good at one, but I would like I I like another track. So, but when I evaluate on that, I'm less competent than than the others. So, should I go with the one that I am competent with uh, in evaluation? Okay, so. One? 
far like and uh, maybe could there be an improvement later maybe work on those specific areas okay so that's a that's a good question so um it will depend on like how, how much difference is there like if you are like slightly more competent in one thing and than the other like if the difference is just a small something that you can make up for uh you can go with what you really want um uh so your your like your um and if your your desire for for some field or some track particular is stronger like much much stronger than the others like this actually counts like uh, having a good motivation to work is is like really um important so that that is going to be taken into account you have to take that into account also when you feel the form there will going to be a discussion with with the team so um you can if you can motivate your choice to yourself of course and if you like it's convincing for us um like um of course it's, it's your choice in the end you can choose anything you want what we are giving you are just advice and uh, help as much as we can so um so i would say like there is i will not get, tell you like there is a right answer in particular but i'm saying like keeping to in your mind is a difference in competency in for for you in one track than the other is something that is not so significant so not so big is it something that you can make up for like can you really the thing that you are you really the track you want to really go into but you think that you are really um, not at, um, not maybe you're not exactly ready yet. Can you make up for for that what you're missing in the like in short time? Um, uh, is it like, uh, and also is your motivation for it really something that you have? Is it something that you really want to go into? Do you have some kind of a plan for the future for that? Um, that all like you I, i'm just i don't know I'm, I'm not maybe i'm not giving you a good answer but like um these are things that i would say like you can think about when you are making your decision basically does this like help in any way hillary uh, yes uh, so and so on that note uh so if i choose the one that let's say i'm confident with and i also i also like it uh i also like it and uh so can there, uh, I believe there's like an improvement that can be made in the future. Let's mm -hmm. say, uh, as you go on, you know, maybe do side projects with that and continue learning and maybe mm -hmm. change the track later in future. But is that possible? Are we only fix, fixated on one? Um, so it depends on when you are going to be. So I, I'm, I'm also going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to give you an answer now, but I'm going to delegate this question also to other people from the teams that are maybe are more like have more experience in these fields. I'm kind of also new, um, so so that you, you can ask later. So what I'm what I will answer is that maybe you can change. Uh, is it it is possible to? Okay, we advise that you focus on one track only in this period for like uh, for the job search okay maybe so i'm going to say like there are two possibilities i can see here changing your track during this uh, job search uh, period or maybe after that or changing your track even after like you get into a job actually and starting like working for let's say you work for a data engineer for some time and then you want to change from a engineer this is just an example but like let's say this is what you want to do is after you start your career one you want to change so this this is this possibility the one that you want to like change mid after you start working this is something that i'm not going to answer myself because i don't know i, I don't think i have enough uh, knowledge to tell you if that's how that works is it advisable or not um to do of course, everything is possible, but is it advisable? Is it like, um, do do people see that people can do this transition and um, it works for them or not? So I will not answer that. But if for 
if you want like during the job search itself period you want to change in the middle um so again this is my own uh, i would say that is possible um we are not it's going to just be that because uh, for each track you your focus is going to be different on the skills that you work on and um and like uh, the the material you prepare of course if you the material you have to to prepare for applying they will be um we want them to be like um, how to say really focused on for the track so you will need to change you need to change the material and start it to build you will need to change your focus on the things that you will need to improve on but it is still, it's still possible it depends on like how much like effort you put in going forward of course this is also applied before but going forward everything up, uh, depends on how much effort you want to put in how much how persistent you are and um like uh, it's it's it might sound like um So I'm I'm sorry if I'm staying a little bit from you from what you, you um, I'm blab uh, blabbering a little bit more than what uh, Hillary's question was, but I'm just saying this. Uh, I'm telling you from now the next period, the next phase, and probably other people that have already told you. The hardest part about it is persisting because, like, it's um, how to say it's in emotionally not easy to do this part when you're applying for jobs. If you cannot help but get hopeful that you will get um, a positive answer and then when you are applying and applying and you're not getting an answer people get discouraged and have a hard time persisting basically so um, this is my like uh, my my own uh, like observation so what I'm saying is for you to just to go back to what uh, Hillary asked it is possible to change midway but it's not it's not something we really don't want you to do that we want you to make this decision now more or less and stick to it and give it some time for it to work because it need you need some time for it to work it's not going to work right away for some people yes some people yeah they are lucky or they like um, they are really really good and they get uh, a chance from the start but it's, re it's really not only your skills it's just this is how things work you have to Put the time and effort and you have to be patient so we really don't want you to like start like an after a month of trying on one track you switch because it, one one month is not enough so that we, want, we don't want you to do this so it is possible but not advisable let's say um but yeah don't if you feel like you are afraid that you're going to be stuck think about it and have another discussion with the team and um and yeah hopefully like uh, the like uh, the other uh, members of the team who are more experienced will give you something more um like from what they like uh, what they know from their experience okay um i hope that was uh, satisfactory to you hillary nice. is this for now yeah yeah, okay. yeah it is good yes okay hannah okay uh I think one thing that would be helpful would be if we can get uh, insight from previous Ten Academy uh, graduates. Okay. So um, I know Ten Academy has been around since 2017, I think. So maybe we don't have to go back that much, but if we can get insight from uh, you know cohort A and maybe a couple of years earlier, maybe they can tell us about what it was like uh, maybe you guys can provide us statistics on who got uh, which truck uh, was easier to get a job for which truck was challenging uh just okay. maybe okay. some some statistics on the previous maybe two three years of uh, 10 academy graduates i think that would help Okay, so just let me clarify. You're asking two things. You want uh, statistics, the numbers, or the, like what tracks people got in, got into, what, uh, how many, how many people got uh, jobs or not, and also you want to hear. Do you want to hear also from people who like from alumni uh, directly? I mean, I mean if, we, you, if we have time, I. I I suppose there are lots of people and we might not have time to hear from everyone, but maybe I was thinking you guys could maybe like give them a questionnaire or, uh, with like a few questions 
and uh, they could answer those questions like uh, how long did it take you uh, maybe what's it like do you enjoy uh, working in this field or maybe did you change a truck and if you changed the truck why did you change it like maybe you guys can come up with like a few questions like that to make it more efficient i was thinking like if we asked everybody it would be it might take a long time but like uh if we can sum up it uh, sum it up into like a statistics maybe that would be easier okay so this i think this is a, a good a good suggestion or a good idea um i will so that i the, so your first um request about the statistics that's definitely is available so i i will just ask i will pass your request to the to, to the um the like uh, people who are responsible for this in the, uh, in the academy and uh i i will see if they can provide the numbers um for you there are definitely some numbers at least available so they can something that we can tell tell you about so what about asking alumni for their like uh, either to come talk to you or just to answer questions this is something like maybe we can have some discussion about i will see like like um of course like time limitation this is um i don't know how much we can provide to you like on like this week or next week but i will uh, uh, say again i think it's a good suggestion so let's say on slack because like uh, maybe other some of your colleagues also want to ask questions so let's do this let's let's on slack collect uh, the kind of questions you want to ask from the alumni what do you want to hear from them if you if you, they can talk to you or if like uh, we can pass them questions like this let's start some thread in, in slack and maybe i will write it but uh everyone who has some question in mind please participate so that we can see uh what do you want to like uh, to know about okay does that sound good okay great uh thank you uh yeah uh what, what was right uh, uh Sorry, excuse me for one moment. No problem. So, anyone else who have a question in the meantime? Can I go now? No. Yes, go, go on. Uh, so, on selecting the uh, this. Of course, the, the three of them can coexist, uh, uh, like generative AI and machine learning can co coexist with each other. There are similarities on the work and machine learning and data engineering have, can coexist, but is it advisable to chase after uh, maybe both, maybe claiming to be AI in general, in machine learning in general, you know, at, at, at the same time, is it insisted to choose only one? Okay, so okay, so this is a, another good question, and it comes up a lot. And um, yes, you are right. So there are, there are a lot of overlap between, for example, let's say generative AI and machine learning engineering. They have a lot of overlap together. The thing is that so it's is. Um, of course, it is possible. It's possible to target both and apply for both. The thing is, it's not easy. This is really, it will require you double the effort to do that. Double, definitely, like uh, whatever everyone else is going to be putting in one track, you have to do, you have to do double for it to work. Um, we advise and this is like 10 academy advise you to choose only one why because getting like uh, getting job ready like i'm being uh, like uh, applying and uh, getting interviews and like getting a job eventually this requires a lot of work you still have to work on your skills to to reach like 
um, what is required by the market. There are things that, of course, some things are maybe you are ready already, something you really not need to work on. And there are so also the material, there is the application itself, which is uh, growing. So all of this, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And if you want to do tra two tracks, you need to put, put um, the double effort, which is going to be really hard. So what we advise is that you focus on one thing. So if you're really not sure about what you want to choose, um, like think about it, read and like think about it. And if you are not sure, still ask you all. All of all of you are are like um, you were told to generate uh, to create this Slack channel and add the team to it. There, basically, you can have a discussion with us and basically like maybe come to one choice uh, but i mean if you are really confident that you can actually put all of this effort that's required to do both things um i don't know like uh, i would say go for it but like maybe other other members of the team will not say that they will really push you to choose one but um i mean uh, you you get why why you are telling you to choose one you understand the, like our reasoning basically that is good yeah so it's uh, yeah so it's, it's, it's a lot of things here are not like definite and there is not like a complete correct way a complete wrong way but there are things that are just like from experience all everything here is going not to be it's going to be hard again i already said this probably other, other people told you it's going to be hard to just persist and um it, everything takes time and so it's time patience and effort so really brace yourself okay <laughs> i don't want to scare you but like really be ready and um don't expect don't get discouraged from like uh, don't get discouraged from the like um if you have like an expectation that you're going to get a job from the first week or the first trial or like the you find job positions that you really really like and you really want and you will not get a, a positive answer from and so and so just like uh yeah be ready for that and i i'm sure that other other team members are going to also tell you about this and they're going to be we're going to be with you for three months so we are going to be there, so don't worry about that. Michael? Okay, so uh, am I audible? Yeah. Okay, so for my machine learning, I think we only did two projects uh, uh, comparing compared with the other two. So how can we improve on that if you have any recommendation? Um, okay, so... Uh, Okay. Uh, so you, you want more hands-on experience, basically? Is that your what you want? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think like machine learning uh, consists of like uh, vision, uh, uh, supervised learning, something like that. But the JNI part, we already did the rag. Uh, fine tuning and so on but for the machine learning i think we only did causal inference and uh, we can't project i think yeah so of course it is um it is possible for you to like uh, um work on your own projects uh, like um, including this and um, like uh, if you want to work on something that has with computer vision um you basically like yeah i i know that we you are told that you can go back to the projects and improve on them but you can also like work on your own projects um like something that you can find or come up with so let me think like um uh okay so I'm, I'm going to assume that like you know about this, that you can find uh, things to work on basically like if you looked 
and like you can find things on Kaggle or stuff like that. So and like you can find data or actual projects that are defined like um, there. But uh, what else? Um, what else can you do? Uh, or, or are you asking for like some support from 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 us? Is that like uh, what you what you want, or what you are asking for? Uh, no, I, I was just uh, watching the all the weeks. So, uh, I think uh, data engineering and chain AI is dominate. I, I think in the weeks so far. That's why. Yeah, so just like in general. So yes, so it's true that like um, you will find that there are things that we are not covered in the training, in the project that you work on. There are like tools you, ha you never got to, to, to use and there are concepts you, you didn't go over. But like there is a self, basic self-learning uh, part of this and this is something that you need to be able to do so basically there are concepts there are maybe tools and stuff that you can find uh, projects basically you can work on it yourself so again yeah as i said you can look on Kigo. maybe there are other resources where you can find data and like even well-defined projects that you can actually just try to do yourself and um I think this can be very helpful for you to learn some some of the concepts that maybe some concepts or like to use some of the tools that you haven't used before. Um, yeah, so this is general, not only for machine learning where like maybe there is some lack of uh, or like there are a few projects that you worked on before, but like in general, everything else that you you want to know or to work on, you can, you can do that. Um, yeah, so there is, this is, yeah, so basically what you said is, um, so yeah, Johannes is saying then B is also uh, great, yes. Um, okay, so I hope that I answered the question, Michael. Yes, thank you. Okay, Abdurrahman. Okay, uh, my question is, uh, how the, the schedule will be, look like, I mean, uh, how, uh, now we have stand-ups and sessions, and I have the schedule will be. I want to to know uh, the times that I can use to uh, to sharpen my skills, so I can decide what the, uh, the track I desire to apply in, or uh, the track I desire. I have desire to to go with it, or the track that. Uh, my skills can can make me achieve job in it. So I want to see. I want to know the time that I can have for sharpening my skills uh, in the three next three months. Okay. So okay. Again, this is good. So um, I I don't have um. What is that? I, I, I don't have a precise answer for you, so but I'm just going to give you like um, an overview from the past uh, from the past um, job search. Uh, um, so for 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 cohort A, uh, but uh, there might be some modifications uh, on how things are going to be done this time. I'm not sure, but um, so generally, you again you're going to still have standups every day. So like what you have right now, this is going to continue. Um, you will have days, at least that what happened with cohort A is that you will have days for job applications. Basically, so the day is going to be decided that there is a one day uh, per week where you apply, actually going to and sending your applications for different jobs. And you're going to be given like some kind of, um, um, uh, like a number of applications you have to send every uh, like during the day or like it's just a number you can reach it or not you can some people surpass it really and some people really can struggle to to reach the number but so, so yeah that will be a day that you will focus on that there will be days that where you are working on different uh challenges uh so it's not challenge like the terror with challenge but you will be um 
you will have like a, um how to say it. so this um hacker rank uh, problems and um like uh, or what's the other one called so these are like coding problems that you you like to improve your coding you can basically let like, this is for like python and sql elite code yes thank you hillary um so you'll be solving these problems there so this you are uh, like a uh, for cohort a uh, or like from previous uh, patches this were like given some time and then you have to basically you personally have to keep track on how much like keep track and like let us know how much you have solved off so you can do them on your time um so there you will have days where you are working on your skills you um that you want to improve on so so this is like uh that your week will going to be divided as there is a day for your publication that day there are you're going to be working on improving the material uh, your application material so your cv and um your like uh, website and um what else what else is there yes so you have like your medium profile your um uh, like your github all of that so you'll be provided to working on these materials so you will have some assignment to do to do with regard to this and uh, yeah so basically you will have uh, a couple of days or i don't know two or three days where you're going to be you'll have your time to divide to work on your skills does this answer the question? Does this give you? And just let me just give a disclaimer here. My what I'm saying is a, a little bit might be not precise. It's not exactly going to be the division is not going to be exactly like that. Maybe I'm not sure, but like this is an overall like um, generally how it works. Yeah, thank um, you. It's me a, a picture about uh, what may be or what may happen. Thank you. Yes, so just for like, of course, this is going to be clarified. Um, I just don't, I personally don't know at the moment, but of course, it's going to be given for you more precisely how it's going to be working. Maybe you can also ask on Slack so that like, um, and maybe um, mention Rodas so that we can provide a better, like more precise answer for that. Okay, uh, so any more questions, any more urgent questions? Okay, because otherwise I think uh, we took um, 15 minutes. Um, uh, again, uh, let me remind you, I'm going to start a thread on Slack for questions you want to ask from, from the Ten Academy alumni. So please, everyone who has a question, um, add your question there. And let's see if like uh, maybe something can be um, Arranged, I don't know. I'm not sure, but like uh, we will try. Um, other than that, uh, thank you everyone for being here. Hope this was helpful. I'm going to stop the recording.